So I got child labor helping because we're gonna test fit some new wheels. Got my son in his front. Okay, boys, that's high enough. That's plenty high. Got some new wheels to test fit there. So we got it high enough. We'll pop these off and put the fresh one new advans on. Step one, of course, was to break the nuts free before we put it in the air. That's good. Now we can uh, take these off quick. That's the way. Up. There you go. Just one out. Now we've got the wheel hanger. We're just going to use that to help guide the new one on. That just threads in. While the lads are taking the final bolts out, let's have a look. So, Advan RS from Japan, super lightweight. These are Porsche specific fitment. Uh, they are not cheap. I got them second hand, which was uh, good. It's probably the only way I could afford them. They're 18 by 10 and a half in the rear, 60 offset, and I got spacers to suit. I got a few different spacers to try. Probably gonna be the uh, 18 mil spacer, I think. But you maybe on a 15, maybe on a 20. And the fronts are 18, eight and a half, uh, 52 offset. So we'll run probably a seven or a 10 mil spacer on the front there to, to clear. Oh, these are look good. And they're super lightweight. I'll put the I'll put the weights on the screen right now. You can see how light they are. Uh, so this is like super, it's an inch and a half wider in the back and still considerably lighter, so. These are some tires that came on them. They're a 285-30. We're not gonna run that big. Uh, these are gonna be our track wheels, so we'll be swapping these over for some new track tires in a, uh, a 265 or probably a 275-30-18. Or 27. Okay, we'll try it first. That's a 18 mil spacer. So here you go. I got one of the lads to film while I tweak this on. Now always, Porsche nerdiness. Get the center cap pointing to the valve because I don't know why, but the Porsche guys like that. Kind of kind of dorky. Um, the orientation. This is the wrong tire. This is the one for the other side. But so we're not really going to drive on these. We're just going to mount them. Okay. Yeah. Take it low. Oh, these are so light. Even with these big tires, these are light. Okay. Oh, filthy. Wow, that's gonna be. Wow. Just gotta check and see is it touching the shock? Is it good fitment? Let's do it. Um, it might be fitting. Yeah, mm -hmm. good fitment. No, good yeah, fitting there, but. Is it touching the coilovers? I'll put a couple bolts in. Uh, now it's going to. I've got long. They got longer bolts for this. Where the longer bolts are here? There. Put a couple. Yeah, yeah, it is touching. Well, we'll find out. If, if it's 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 close, really close. There's no gap, I know, but is it touching? What is going on with these bolts? These are... It sound like it's touching, we'll see. It's definitely rubbing on the parking brake cable, but that's easy. We can zip tie that back out of the way. I can go under and check. Okay, well with those two snug, that'll be, okay, we're contacting the parking brake. 
Well, yeah, these are just Kumo 285s. Yeah, if we did Kumo 265. Well, that's it. I, it's The wheel, I think, is going to clear. Yeah, this feeling in here, the wheel will clear. We're clear anyway. Sorry, I don't have the metal thing We're clear. Wow, how fat is that? But if we run a, a, a slightly narrower tire, it's going to clear no matter what. But we're just... We can do too tight. But no. no, these are you know, 275. 275 on here, we're good. Okay, the fronts, we are running, well, I've got a few different spacers. I got five mil OEM Porsche ones, which are pretty cool. I've got 10 mil, 15 mil, and I think I've got a seven mil as well. We're gonna try with the 10 mil first. So we were with a bit bigger. Yeah, these are a different tire. So was, these are a Yokohama. But, but they're a 225, and they look stretched on this because it's eight and a half wide. So we will slide it on. We're just checking the wheel fitment because, yeah, oh, these... Oh, so we're going to have Yokohama's No, well, these, no, because it's all... We're going to probably... We're going to swap everything around. We're just test fitting the wheels and some tires. We've got to work out what we can put on here after we get all the stuff on. There we go. So that oh. brings it out to a 42 offset, and we run a lot of camber on this, so that should be fine. Moment of truth. We'll check the fitment. See what we can do here. Slowly drop it down, and I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, that's the front, no problem. The back. How's the back looking? Look at that. We still got a lot of room in the front, which is good. Don't want to mess up the scrub radius, but those fix fitting the fat in the back, and that is just in there. That is good. So when we put a little bit narrower tire on, it's gonna be perfect, but happy, happy with that. So we can fit ten and a half on the back. Eight and a half in the front, no problem on a 986 Boxster. And yeah, that's a 285. So if you wanted to put a 285 on the back of your car, you could. So I know I'm gonna get people asking for this shot. So does it stick out at the back? Does it? No, it doesn't. The wheel, the wheel just ever so slightly, but that's still, within the guards and this is a negative two and a about two and a half oh, two and a quarter actually with the new alignment that's negative two and a quarter degrees on the back so 18 by 10 and a half uh plus 60 then with an 18 millimeter spacer so if you're going to get custom rims done you know here's the spec there up so you can have a look at that or what the actual offset is and then the fronts, negative three and a half degrees camber in the front. Plenty of room, like plenty of room. Uh, this is with a 225, actually, I should say. So 18 by eight and a half plus 52 uh, with a 10 mil space, you're making it plus 42. Uh, we will be running a 235, but I think we can even, uh, eight and a half, you could fit a 255 tire on here. So we might go a 255, 35, 18 front to be beasty. And which is what the 255 is what a lot of the spec Boxster guys run in the US. Uh, the 17 by eight and a half uh, with a 255. So it fits, no problem. Uh, even if you're running less camber, it'll still, still probably fit with all, maybe not. You need the camber. And then we can get tons of grip out of the front and then a 275 in the back. So squaring them up. Oh, that looks good.